Yeah, so I've been pretty excited about this device for a while. I've got the PFG2Z, um, uh, my contact applications here. I believe uh, TENS unit pads directly over the artery is much, much more efficient than the, the handles. But I've been having some fun with some of this stuff. And they use, uh, use a lot of nice things. It's just a normal USB port to like a printer cord. That's what that uses. And then an auxiliary thing, so it allows me to play with it. As long as I don't uh, open up the box, so I made my own rods, you know, for people, uh, friends and whatnot that want to try it, you can try it. Yeah, I don't know, it looks better than it used to, and it's, it's been pretty strong and durable. And then I played around with the, this rodent coil, well, I, I don't know if it's quite a rodent coil. That's somewhat of a magnetic feel, but I use such a weak auxiliary cable, and I've never made uh, coils before, so I just ripped apart my um, well, microwave because I hate microwaves, and I used it. And there's, there's somewhat of a magnetic feel. You can see it screwing around that compass a little bit. Uh, but the, the whole big thing of why I got it is you can totally modify frequencies. You do about 40 or 50 waveform, well, about 40, about 40 waveforms. See that square there, that rampart here, switch, there it is. Rampart 10, that's one of my favorites, and a bunch of different variations of square and rampart, and ramp down, that's rampart 40. Um, 65,000 hertz, Zyto high frequency calculation. So what that means is I'm running higher frequencies, but they're related to the, the ones that the LSA Pro told me that were good for me uh, with electrodermal screening. And there's a calculator online that you can go to. I use my Zyto, my LSA Pro, or my Ondamed, and I'll go Pulse Technologies, High Frequency Calculator, and you enter in whatever frequency, like 70, calculate higher frequencies. That's between 30,000 and 300,000. So it says 35,840, so it's, a, it's some kind of multiple. What about 1 million and, and 3 million? Same thing, and then your frequency is there, or frequency. There you go. So that's what I want to run. So these higher frequencies are supposed to create a much faster resonance in the body or resonance quicker. I don't know if I'm saying any of this stuff right. I do know that I like this machine. Uh, running the organ frequencies on myself has been making me feel quite a bit better at these higher, much higher frequencies. But the main reason I got it is uh, for these Candida programs. And these are, those are ones that I've created myself that I've saved in, into the machine and you know, I could add whatever frequencies I wanted to here. And I could add that and have it run it, you know. As long as it's under uh, 200,000 hertz for um, the old uh, pulse precision LED. At the, the wavelength spectrum is supposed to be all over the place. From far infrared to ultraviolet. So that's cool. In four and a half minutes. Uh, so you can add any frequencies, you can add the frequencies with any different uh, waveform going here. The ramp part, gauze, you know, there's chirp, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. Those are what the wave looks like, so I'll just enter in 40 there. Not that that's 
good for anything that I know of. I just wanted to show you this, this gauze waveform. So that will, that's what that looks like compared to square. And just so many different ways to run so many different frequencies and uh, relatives of the same frequency. And this just uses the basic CAFL. You can search anything in your computer. You can. This is all hooked up to the computer. It's meant to be controlled by the computer. I love that too because computers are awesome and buttons suck. Let's see. Fatigue, okay. I don't want to punch any diseases. This is so friendly to diseases as far as um, organ amplification and stuff like that. 10,000 hertz is in almost everything. Uh, 12664, I might take these. I might add them over in the high frequency calculator and get higher frequencies. So we could copy, go over here paste them. I paste it over at 72. So those are all the frequencies from 1 to 3 million. And you can do the same deal here. If I can highlight these things right, this, uh, this touchpad gets a bit tricky. Cancel out of here. Let's go to add frequencies. Remember, I took this for chronic fatigue. Uh, square is just set a standard, but uh, again, I'll just let's do triangular. You can set the power one to ten, and here's your higher uh, higher frequencies. Yeah, she doesn't want to run those frequencies over two hundred thousand. It'll just it'll shut it off. But that's it in a nutshell. And I'm sorry, the video is seven and a half minutes long, but maybe you learned something. I think it's a very uh, moderately priced device at fifteen hundred. or twelve hundred for the other one. I'm, I don't know, somewhere around fifteen hundred. I think that's what I paid. Um, yeah, go out, be healthy, experiment, fun stuff, it's safe, I've, I think it would have hurt myself, you know, never put it around the head or heart area or neck area, there's frequency considerations, there's all these things to consider, you got to do your research, and be safe and have fun.